A summary of antibiotic resistance for the Irish Leaving Cert. What exactly are antibiotics? Well, you know by now, for your exams, you need to know your definitions. Antibiotics are those chemicals that stop the growth of or kill other microorganisms without causing damage to human tissue, and they're produced by bacteria and fungi. Just for your information, they were first discovered in 1928 by Sir Alexander Fleming, but their use did not really take off until the Second World War. So what is antibiotic resistance then? Well, it's when antibiotics that were once really effective at killing particular bacteria are no longer effective. They don't kill them anymore. How does this antibiotic resistance develop then? Well, it's all down to genetic variation, which arises due to mutations, and this all drives evolution. To understand this, you should really go back to how bacteria reproduce. They reproduce asexually by binary fission, where one bacterium gives rise to two supposedly genetically identical bacteria. Looking at the bacterial growth curve, you'll remember that it's in the log stage where bacterial numbers increase dramatically. Effectively, you get huge numbers of new bacteria very quickly. Some bacteria can reproduce once every 20 minutes, as in the case of E. coli. This speed of reproduction can and does result in genetic mutations, as mistakes in DNA replication occur. These mutations can give rise to beneficial traits. Beneficial traits such as antibiotic resistance. You know that nature selects the beneficial trait, the trait that gives the organism the ability to better adapt, better able to survive its environment. In the presence of antibiotics, only those bacteria with the gene for antibiotic resistance will survive and thrive, increasing in their numbers. This is natural selection, that theory put forward by Darwin and Wallace. Please note that bacteria can and do transfer genetic material, so the serious problem arises when bacteria transfer the gene for resistance into pathogenic bacteria or disease-causing bacteria. This results in drug-resistant infections, infections for which there is no, absolutely no effective antibiotic. There are now superbugs such as MRSA, which are resistant to many strains of antibiotic. Resistance to antibiotics is evolving very, very quickly and one factor is contributing to this. It's the misuse of antibiotics. It's this that's driving the evolution of antibiotic resistance. It enhances the chances of bacteria developing resistance and cracking the code. Also note that antibiotics only work against bacterial and some fungal infections. They have absolutely no effect on viral infections, so you should not be taking them for viral infections. Also note that antibiotic resistance is not a new phenomenon. Resistance is usually identified around two years post-drug release. And please note as well that it takes nearly 10 years to develop new drugs and a serious amount of money. Worldwide antibiotic resistance is a huge problem and the World Health Organization lists diseases such as TB, gonorrhea and some urinary tract infections as being resistant to many antibiotics. For your examinations, please make sure that you know your definitions, that you include mutations and natural selection and the incorrect use of antibiotics in your answer. That's it. Best of luck and please use your textbook.